palette right now and we're gonna jump into our first color which is gonna be this pink shade called pink leather and pink leather is basically our brow bone highlight and that is what you're gonna apply on your brow bone and I've done another, I have a few other looks using Melt Cosmetics. So if you guys want, I can definitely link it for y'all. But I've stated before, like their palettes and stuff is so good. I feel like Melt is such an underrated brand that a lot of people like don't even use. But their stuff is so good. It's so pigmented. The palettes and stuff are always very well thought out. I have about three palettes by them and I'm not disappointed at all. Honestly, I first heard about Mel from Rosita Applebaum on YouTube. She used to use, always used, I think, the Dark Matters or Matters palette. And it's like a melt stack. I think you could get that on like their website or something. But I was like, dang. I used to always see her use that. Like, dang. I gotta get me some melt. And now I have three palettes. And ow! For some reason, my back is hurting, y'all. Don't mind. That was so dramatic. But my back is hurting. <laughs> Okay, so we did our brow bone highlight like so. This is just going to really pop when you take pictures. It's going to stand out, especially because the makeup is so dark. You definitely want something that is going to stand out. Next, I'm going to go into the shade called Flamingo Dream. It looks like this. This is Flamingo Dream. And I'm going to use my Morphe M505 brush. And I'm going to use Flamingo Dream, which is basically just Flamingo Dream. is really like a transition color. This is going to be the shade that I want everything to transition with. That nice pinky color. I was really going for like a really cute pinky glam. Wait till I show you my outfit and like the lip and stuff that I'm thinking. It's just going to be so pink and pretty. And I feel like my light is like kind of washing me away because it's not even picking up how pink it is. It looks more like a pale pink but it's definitely a little bit darker in person so... Don't mind that. I'm going to see if I can adjust my light maybe so you guys can see how it really looks. Because it looks so pale and it's not that pale. Um, Modern Love, which looks like this. This is such a pretty like mobby tone color and like my crease. And this is just going to kind of help diffuse the colors, marry everything up and make it blend. And you're just going to put your Modern Love back and forth. Blendy Motion. This is a Sephora collection. Um, this is a Sephora Collection Crease Brush. So this is their newer brushes if you guys are interested. Because I know I have some, some of y'all on here like are into brushes and stuff. If you haven't already checked, look at my must-have brush video that I have did. You guys want to see. You want to see that. So now that I have Modern Love, I'm going to go in with the shade GF. I'm guessing this girlfriend, maybe GF is right here. And I'm going to put that in like my outer corner. Y'all, when I tell y'all my back is like seriously hurting, it's so annoying. And this is like a Jeffree Star Morphe brush. Um, Like I've stated, I don't really support like much. Like, I don't really even get involved in it, all of that. And I'm not a Jeffree Star fan, but I just, I, I had to get the brush because it's pink. So, y'all, yeah, don't come for me. That's, like, literally the only thing. And when I bought it, these brushes were, like, on sale. I'm pretty sure they wanted to get, like, rid of everything with him because it was on sale. So, yeah, I just took GF in my outer corner. And then now I'm going to go back in with the same brush I use for Modern Love. And I'm just going to kind of go over this just to kind of tone it down a little bit. Because I don't want GF to be overpowering the look too much. So yeah, we're going to go over that. And now I'm going to take a little smaller brush. And I'm going to go in the shade Euphoria. <laughs> I'm going to go in with the shade Euphoria. Which is basically a matte black. And I'm going to add Euphoria in my outer corner. To kind of intensify the look. And I don't even think it honestly it is matte. I mean a black. It is it's matte, but I don't think it's a black. It might be like a really intense blue black, maybe. I don't know. But we can go in the shade Euphoria. And if you guys notice I'm doing my makeup, my eyeshadow literally while my makeup is done. And I have no fallout. So you guys can see like the melt products are good. I do believe for you guys not to get fallout, to be honest, it's all about sorry, I'm just trying to adjust the light for you guys. I'm going to take it down a little bit. 
it's really all about um it's all about technique like you can still do your makeup and get no fallout it's just honestly the technique that you guys use so this is what i have going on like so okay so we're gonna go in with the shade ruby star which is basically our lid color it looks like this this is ruby star i'm gonna just spray it with some cover effects um setting spray and now i'm just going to put that on my lid ruby star i will say is a shimmer color so definitely guys take your time if you did your makeup like me so you don't get any fallout but yeah, you can definitely do your makeup, honestly. Your eyeshadow with your, with your makeup done. A lot of people do their makeup like this. Like the the um, the um foundation first. Then they go in and do eyeshadow. Because visually, honestly, it's more aesthetically just kind of pleasing to see your base already done. So, I may start doing my makeup like this moving forward. But yeah, guys, it's super easy. The look I did, this is pretty much it. I'm going to go off camera and just add like a liner, a straight line in my lashes. Oh, wait, the only thing I am going to do now, I'm going to definitely, I'm going to definitely add our waterline. I like to be dramatic. You do not have to do this. If you want it a little bit softer, you could kind of skip this step. But I want it more dramatic, more drama. So I'm going to go in with my waterline and a black liner. I'm using a Makeup by Mario liner. My waterline. So I'm going to apply my lashes. I'm going to apply my lashes and I'm going to do a straight line. And I'm going to come right back and we're going to finish this look. Okay, we're going to use the shade yeah. GF. Okay, so for lips, I went ahead and did the Juvia's Place, the lip pencil, and the color So Rare. Um, I lined my lips with, not I lined it, I applied Max Saint Germain as like my lipstick. I kind of want to do like that pinky pinky nude. So Saint Germain, every girl from like 2012 and before that all had Saint Germain. That was like a thing. Actually guys, I'm going to add blush. So I'm going to go in with the NARS Orgasm Illuminating Blush. And I'm just going to smile and that's going to be like my blush and my bronzer type of style that we're going to have going on. I'm going to put a little on my chin, on my nose. We're just going to illuminate. This is more like a illuminator, honestly, to me than it is a blush. I actually have the shade Max. Max Sweet as Coco just to give me more color with my cheeks. So for my gloss, I'm just going to go in with MAC Oyster Girl. I was really feeling like all the throwback MAC shades. So Oyster Girl it is. 